Now, WGAL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning. It is 618. We were off to a frosty start this morning. It was clear and calm overnight, and that's why we got so cold. Now, a couple of flurries are possible today and perhaps again late tomorrow into early Friday. That's going to reinforce the cold air in place, bringing us 30s for highs this weekend. Here's our News 8 Storm Team forecast today, also in the 30s, looking for a high of 38 degrees, becoming mostly cloudy is the call. So we could see a little clearing later in the evening, but there's also the chance of that passing flurry. For tonight, partly cloudy, cold right back down into the lower 20s and then tomorrow we're looking for highs close to 40 degrees. We'll start the day with some sun and see partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies in the afternoon. Here's a live look at the clouds coming in live in New York. It's 19 degrees. Winds are calm and that's a big change from yesterday. Yesterday morning we had sustained winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. It was pretty brisk, but this time around we're just dealing with the cold. 27 right now in Chambersburg. You've warmed up due to clouds coming in. 20 in Sealands Grove. We have 19 for Lebanon, 23 in Lancaster. Your current sustained wind speeds extremely light. If they're not calm, they're about two, three miles per hour. That's what we're seeing in Cumberland County right now. Here's our Super Doppler 8 satellite and radar image combined. Clouds starting to sneak in. So the call this morning is brief sunshine, then mostly cloudy skies as this disturbance here in the Midwest comes right across Pennsylvania. So it might spark a couple of flurries or a scattered snow shower throughout the day, but we're not going to be seeing any kind of weather that would slow you down today. Here's what the predictor shows. Low pressure starts to pool away off the east coast. Might bring a little snow to the Jersey Shore, actually, as it does so later today. Uh, for us, we are just going to be staying dry tonight into tomorrow. Now, here's our second reinforcing shot of colder air coming in tomorrow night. That may also be accompanied by a couple of flurries through early Friday morning. But boy, Friday's going to be brisk and chilly. Highs don't get out of the mid to upper 30s. Saturday, we could be in the low to mid 30s for our highs there. Check that out, 34 degrees. Now, as we roll into Sunday and Monday, we're still watching that storm system that will cut across the mid-Atlantic to our south. Will it come far enough north to brush us with a little light snow in southern counties? That still remains to be seen. It's still far ways off, but right now it still looks like a miss in most of our model guidance. So we'll keep you posted. These things yeah. can take last minute right, changes, absolutely. so we're just letting you know. Keep us up to date. But right now it looks like a miss for the area. No matter what though, it's cold or it's that <laughs> it's seven days. That is the trend, 30s. I mean, average yeah. highs are mid 40s. We don't right. even have a barely a 40 in there. You know, it's interesting, I, I'm not hearing it. You know, the jewelers would often say those advertising gimmicks that if it snows, <laughs> no, it's, it's free right, right. or whatever. I haven't heard any of that this year. Mm, Maybe I missed year. it, not I don't know. Bets but after the wettest year I haven't record. heard it. Their insurance company's like, yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Christine, thank you.